Phil's here. Phil Burr filling in for Jim Norton today. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony Show. Good morning. Where's Jimmy lollygagging around today? Oh, I lost track of Jimmy. The hell is Still down Jimmy? the meatpacking district. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we should start a rumor. Uh, Jim Norton was arrested last night. Soliciting. For what we thought he would be arrested for. <laughs> so it's no surprise to anyone this morning. He should be back on the air Monday, hopefully. In the meantime, Bill Burr, everyone. It's the only virus spreading across America. Man. Let's say hi to Jim, uh, Scott, actually. Scott, what's up? Hey, man. What, what happened to Jim Norton? He got arrested? Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, it's bound to happen. Let's say, Bill Burr is in this morning. Let's say hi to Matt in Pennsylvania. Matt, what's up? Yo, guys, I just turned on my XM 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Guys, just say that Jim was blowing a tranny and wound up in a slammer last night? Uh, that's a legend. Yeah, you got to keep it clean for the radio, but yes, uh, the rumor about Jim is true. We still haven't heard from Jim Norton. Bill Burr is in for Jim. Uh, if he gets yeah. out, am I, am I, uh, I can still hang, right? You can hang for the yeah. day. All right. You're and allowed. This is hilarious. And after the break, we, uh, we talked to Donald Trump. What, what is he promoting? What is he promoting today? Everything. Uh, uh, first call arraignment at eight. That's what he's from. Oh, I thought that's what Donald Trump's from. <laughs> I got all confused. Here. Uh, it's Charles in New Jersey. What's up, Charles? Hey, I, I woke up a little uh, late and I heard there's some type of rumor about Jimmy. What's going on? Uh, Jimmy got arrested. We'll have more in a little bit. We gotta oh. get the details. Gotta... We're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Want to thank Bill Burr for coming in. Hey, on no notice whatsoever. I thought you guys were joking when you called me up. Right, uh, Brian in DC. Nap. Yeah, as much as I uh, would love to hear about tasing kids, and I have too. I want to know what happened to Norton. Oh, uh, we're waiting for an update. Waiting for details, yeah, sir. Legally, we can't say anything. You'll be the point. second or third to know. As soon as we know more, we'll let you know about his arrest. Oh, uh, we're done. Thanks, Brian. Let's say hi to Dennis in uh, Jersey. Dennis, what's up? It's horrid. It was loud. Yeah, well, uh, you guys are great. It was Listen, loud. What's the update? What's the update on uh, Jimmy Norton? Uh, hey, yeah. Uh, I haven't gotten a call yet. He got arrested last night, and we're still waiting for an update. That's it was all we know. Around right the meatpacking district, so you connect the dots. <laughs> connect the dots. Someone's saying no. He wasn't caught with Dakota Fanning. No, 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 no. He was he was caught with like a China type. Let's just put it that way for now. A China type. China. Where'd you get it? Oh, oh, big. I thought you meant Asian. Not to be a dick, but when you roll the dice that many times, it kind of is inevitable. Yeah. He was actually bragging one day, and it was a while ago, so it's not like he jinxed himself saying anything recently, but it was a while ago. He said he he absolutely knows what he's doing to the point where he could not possibly get in trouble doing it. That's that's like just going, oh, my, you know, my yeah. car's running great. That's great. I haven't had any problems with it since <laughs> I bought it. The thing's great. <laughs> Dart stuff every time. I would have, yeah. you know. Obviously, I feel bad for him. He'll Never be been fine, to the doctor. Like, been healthy as a horse my whole life. <laughs> 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 yeah. Why, why are you coughing? What's that? I got this lump. I don't know. The doctor <laughs> felt felt the lump and found a spot somewhere. I would just love to have heard him stammering. How <laughs> how many PBA cards and mentions of the O and A show you think oh. flew out of his mouth? <laughs> Keep the cop. <laughs> I uh, can you call this number. This guy. Uh, he's a good boy. <laughs> and I think she's like ten. And just goofs on him. I watched them interact the, 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 with the kid one time when they came somewhere in like Hasbro Heights or something, and it was just awful and dysfunctional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so completely dysfunctional that it was hysterical to watch. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're supposed to be in jail. Oh. Hey, what are you doing here, convict? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the deal. We're trying to get some messages off some phones. And then we'll get into the Jim Norton situation. 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 Ah, mm. God, I hate some of these message boards. I gotta tell you, the douchebags can't go with a effing prank. Can't go with a to bit. save their lives. No. That's why I say, eat your own. Eat your own. There's got to be sp spoiled a bit, guy. I, I, I went on the message boards on. Um, Friday after the show, and there, there's people just blowing up our spot, and then other people saying, oh, I knew it was a prank the whole time. Did ya? No, was, Did ya? Wasn't even, the, if, like, it wasn't funny, there was no point to it, there was nothing. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. 
So like so, it was a real planned out anything. So you know better than Jimmy's family, right? Yeah. Apparently they do. Asses. It wasn't believable. It wasn't believable, really. Wait till you hear the messages from Jim's uh, father and Jim's sister. And my oh. phone rang all oh, weekend no. long. Oh, it's lovely to get off to a plane to that. Oh, oh lovely. No. And I went to the stress factory. You're welcome, Jimmy. <laughs> I went to the stress factory on Friday to see Bill Burr, and I'm sitting in the audience. It wasn't believable. Bill Burr's set was almost ruined because people were yelling out, how's Jimmy? When is he getting out? But you, you just know more than anybody else, and you had to blow up everyone's uh, fun. God, I hate you. I really hate you. That is the animal that is the message board. It's a living, breathing entity that can start as one thing and mutate into another. Yeah. They're wonderful. They don't get the show. There's people that call themselves like Uber fans that don't get the show. They don't yeah. get the show. Yeah. Because they have to make it about themselves. They think they're bigger than the show. They think they're bigger than a message board. They gotta show everybody how much they know. How, look how smart I am. Well, if you figured it out, great. But guess what? Jimmy's own family didn't figure it out. So I guess we did pretty good with that one. You certainly did. Yes, you know, somebody posted something like, uh, "Oh, uh, they they bashed the whole thing and then said, uh, you know, Andy Kaufman wouldn't be proud." And I wrote, "Yeah, he wouldn't be proud because he's dead." <laughs> Because he's rotting. Jackass. All right. Well, we're going to take a break. Uh, are they getting the messages right now? Oh, I, I already had the my three unloaded. Oh, boy. How many more are we waiting for? Uh, we got them on disc yet? Oh, All right. Here's the deal. On Friday, if you uh, if you miss Friday's show or whatever, we, we start the show but by basically saying we are going to start a rumor. <laughs> and we uh, said yeah. Jim Norton was arrested. And then for the rest of the show, we kind of just played into it a little bit, very casually here and there. And uh, believe it or not, most people bought it. Most yeah. people bought it, including Jimmy's father, Jimmy's sister. Jimmy's mother. Jimmy's mother. Oh, no. A lot of Jimmy's friends. Jimmy's friends. Uh, Jimmy's friends in Vegas. Uh, Jimmy's friends in uh, New York. Oh, Lovely flight. To <laughs> All right, we'll get into the whole thing because flight. this is the beauty of it. Jimmy was flying out to Vegas. Yeah. So we did our show saying that he was arrested. No one could get a hold of Jimmy because he was in flight for the five, six-hour flight, whatever it is <laughs> these days. And when he landed, he turns his phone back on, and there's nothing but messages. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, because you have no clue, so you just land and go, ah. hey, what's all these messages? He's busy being on the plane. Yeah. So food. So after the break, we'll uh, we'll get into what uh, how Jimmy found out and all that, and then we'll play his messages. All right? Yeah. And we'll continue. All right, here we go. So uh, we started this rumor on Friday: Jim Norton getting arrested. We hinted that it was because he was caught with a tranny in the meatpacking district. Yeah. And uh, we we thought we'd have a little fun with that, but of course, you know. Somebody on Whackbag, a few people on Whackbag, one of our message boards, felt like uh, no one should have any fun. No one should have any fun, and they know better, and they're bigger than the show, so they couldn't wait to post and say how it was just a rumor, and they had to prove it was a rumor right away and make sure it just wrecked everyone's uh, fun as far as the show goes. And then you get this ass, uh, Hallport, H-A-U-L-P-O-R-T. He has one post. So he's probably a Howard fan, to be honest with you. Either that or he's just another message board guy. They're not always Howard fans. Sometimes there are other message board guys that mm -hmm. want to say something but um, don't have the balls to say it behind their already fake name. So they say right. behind that name so their fake character name uh, doesn't have to say So it. their fake character name with the high post count, <laughs> yeah. and which, which equals respect for some stupid reason. Dude, yeah, I got really? 4,000 posts. Uh, you can't touch me. I'm untouchable. I would be more. Really? I would be more mad if this Hall Port had a lot of posts. He has one, so obviously he had some kind of agenda. Yeah. What's even scarier is that our own Anthony has 1,470 posts on a message board, and and like ah, good. 1,469 of them are me bitching someone out. God. I think I got two posts. I, I do a lot of the Photoshop threads. They're fun. I go there. There are fun things on some message boards, but you're not going to get 100%. There are going to be douches that just wreck the experience for everybody. That's the essence of a message board. I uh, I lurk. I don't post. You need a good 
cool person to douchebag ratio on a message board to make it go toable. There are a few I just don't visit because their douchebag ratio way too high. I want a graph, please, of douchebag to cool guy ratios as per message boards. You know, you, you, you speak the truth too. That's why I say from time to time, you got to eat your own. You yeah. got to eat your own. There are message boards out there that the we don't part. even acknowledge anymore because they were too stupid uh, not to eat their own. And don't say, oh, you guys can't take criticism. Criticism is great. I've had one of my 1,470 posts uh, might be accepting criticism. Now, there's a few of them that if somebody has a valid point of, and it's criti criticism, be okay, that's your point, you know, other people seem to like it or blah, 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 whatever. But when it's just like either getting on you personally or just like uh, j just somebody saying something sucks without anything to back it up. It's like, just back it up. Or if you didn't like it, so who cares if you didn't like it? And it's the same 20, yeah, yeah, 30 yeah. people oh. posting over and over. Yep. So this guy, he writes on the message board as far as over. Jimmy's arrest goes, rumors like these, unless they have some sort of payoff, are just a waste of time. I don't feel had. I don't feel like I wasted my time. And it's not even funny. If it was something really effed up that scared everybody, like Jimmy has AIDS for real, then that might be funny. What? Uh -huh. It would be more funny if they pulled a prank on the news or something. Andy Kaufman would not be proud. Yeah. So then Anthony, with his oh. 1470th post. Let me, uh, oh, my God. Let me get this. I wrote, uh, you're such a tool. I use a lot of exclamation points At when I post, too. That's not necessary, though. I even used one, two, three, four. On uh, the next sentence. I mean, you're such a tool. You don't get it. Things like this are for the message boards. We can't just do something to have fun with you guys. It has to be some kind of well-planned bit. It was off the cuff, first of all. Yeah. It gets a load of people speculating and wondering if it's bull or not. Wow. I guess Mr. One Post knows more than everyone else, though. We weren't looking to make Andy Kaufman proud. He's dead. <laughs> By the way, since it was such a waste of time, I guess on Monday we won't be playing the phone messages that Jimmy got from his parents thinking he was in jail. Leave ready to us, and you do what you're good at, getting <laughs> by other men up your faggot <laughs> hole. <laughs> that didn't make the radio. Why wouldn't it make the radio? Should. Did it make it? I had to. Thumbs up. I don't it know. Has to. I think this is going to be a panicky Pete on that one. No. No. All right. All right. So we got the the. Uh, so Jimmy, why don't you take it from here? I'm sorry. That's all right. So you flew oh, out to bed. Look at these idiots. What? <laughs> Some idiots are writing. Didn't make it through. It was all bleeped. Uh. <laughs> no. Look, idiot. I bleep. See, I can even talk over the bleep. People don't understand the bleep bit yet. I'm bleeping myself. It's the bleep bit. It's so we can do it. On regular radio, but you know what I'm saying. It gets around like I could say, hey. Uh, got dumped. I knew it. Your mother Why? loves to. What, I got knew dumped? it got dumped. I Be knew it would. Because of the uh, the uh, H word part. Hole, the word hole. God almighty. I knew it would get dumped, Aunt. Okay, here we go. Last line. I, I knew he would just get really nervous. Leave radio to us and you do what you're good at. Getting by other men up your faggot there you go how's that i don't know hole i just let it be screw it ah, Jesus. screw it all man the I, stupid man they're bleeping everything yes they are you hear me do you hear me talk over the bleep the man is keeping us down so, uh, oh, Jimmy, so you're funny. So you flew to Vegas. Uh, this was just an off-the-cuff dumb thing we started on right. Friday. You had no clue about it. You were in the air. You, you, you touched down, you turn on your phone, and then what happened? Well, I, I got off the plane. I just I turned my phone on. I didn't even listen to any messages. And then Kenny comes over, and you know how he just... He <laughs> you're in jail. 
He lives for bad news. He <laughs> oh, of course. I don't want to tell you. I don't want to upset you. <laughs> that you, you want nothing more. <laughs> upset me. I mean, uh, whenever Kenny's eyes get wide, he's relishing in the moment. <laughs> Loves bad news. You guys at home can't see this, but Kenny has an expressionless face, and when he he's like his eyebrows raised and his eyes open, he goes, "I don't want to tell you anything that's going to upset you," and you know that he's clamoring to tell you something <laughs> that's going to upset you. The, the hospitals should hire Kenny to tell families yeah. that their family members have died <laughs> go into that waiting room and just tell them kenny loves spreading rumors by yeah. the way oh he's he, a, a chatty cathy he, he loves chatty gossip Kathy. and we all trust him thinking he's not gonna talk to others but he does he does he just loves it he writes it all down for right uh, <laughs> you didn't get this from me i've i can't tell you how many times i've heard kenny go you didn't get this from me but there's no one else we could have gotten it from it's <laughs> bad news and it's relatively ill-informed <laughs> um i get off and he goes uh they must be doing something on the radio because i get messages from your father they think you're in jail and I'm like, what? Why? I laughed because I figured, well, they must have said yeah, something. Yeah, these stupid. idiots do. <laughs> and um, I wish Kenny was here right now, but he's out getting stuff. Um, I'm getting things. He's getting eggs. I wine. wish I could be there. <laughs> you know. Well, they want me to go out and get food. I mean, uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just a man who's caught in a bad situation. That's what Kenny is. That's Kenny all That's the time. Regular Joe caught in a bad place. <laughs> um, so we got. Uh, so the first thing I did before I listened to any messages. Mm -hmm. Is I called home. I had to, because as soon as he said what it was, I'm like, all right, the guys must have said something on the air. And uh, he, I talked to my dad, and I'm like, yeah, everything's okay. And they pushed my mother on the phone. Oh, no. And she's crying. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, stop. Uh, yeah, she was crying. Oh, my God. She was cr That's what I dealt with when I got to Vegas. It's 10 in the morning, I guess, West Coast time. Oh, Jimmy, your um, mommy was crying. I know. I wish you would have left me a tear-filled message. Oh, that, that would great. be great. But um, not this oh, time. No. I didn't hear any of the messages Kenny got. Yeah, we got him. There he is. Okay, what did Kenny, when you came off the plane... Oh, God, you said, no. uh, you, you said to me, uh, I guess the first thing you listen to your messages, and you're like, oh, your parents think you're in jail? Yeah, yeah. I, we plane landed. You can turn on your cell phone. I had seven voicemail messages, and I was like, you know, what's going on? I never get that many messages. And uh, so I started playing them right away. And the first one was kind of garbled, and I should just get bits and pieces. And I, you know, and I, it was from Jimmy's father, and I got like nervous, like what was going on. And then I, I couldn't really understand. Then I is Jimmy okay? Did his plane go down? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I was on the same plane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did this part of the plane go down after we landed and I was off it? First class crashed. Jimmy, I don't know how to tell you this, but you were arrested last <laughs> night. <laughs> the eyes wide open. I don't want to upset you. <laughs> That's what I told him. I go, please. You <laughs> always say that. I was like, and then you're me. the one that upsets us. Do you understand that yet? But I he doesn't it. want to. Right. Here's what, here's what I know Kenny wants to upset you, because whenever he says that, his shoes bulge because his toes are curling with joy and anticipation. <laughs> his toes are like clenching and unclenching. His little boots are rising and falling. Uh, just loving it. I can never win, because you always shoot the mess. Messenger. No, I don't. Uh, I never shoot. I, no, I know. I know. But in general. So. Oh, all right. So, so, but, uh, so I got you know the second message. I, uh, I understood clearly. You can hear it, like it was from Jim's father. They heard his mother was all upset, hysterical. Oh my, oh my all right. God! Laughing? No, oh, no, no. Okay. Jimmy, look what you did to your mom again. You know. Yeah. And then the third oh, wait, message yeah, now <laughs> was oh. the father in the car on his cell phone driving to Jim's sister's house. <laughs> Call him on the cell phone now, right? Oh. And then the fourth message was from Jim's I, sister. Terrible. Like, has to know what's going on because they got to know that he's all right, you know. <laughs> I feel awful. I, why Why would a family have to go through Why should they have to go through uh, that? And then I had to tell Jimmy something like, how do I, you know, how do I, like, break the news to him, you know? Well, how can you, I don't know, how many people have to explain to their parents, no, I wasn't arrested picking up a transsexual prostitute. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> like, any parent should just know that that wouldn't happen. Of course, of course it didn't Right. Happen, but, you know, there's no faith in <laughs> No faith whatsoever. A, no, as soon as you say it on the air, they're like, it's got to be true, let's get the bail. Yeah, money. must be true. And Fruit and Cup got arrested. So I got a couple Fruit more Cup. calls throughout the day. I, a Florentine called me. He wanted to know what was going on because he was mad. Like, if Norton got arrested, he must be slipping. 
flipping. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Norton's a pro. Yeah, like he knows all the code words. He knows what to say and do. So, like, what happened? He had to know. So when you when you called home, what did your dad say? Well, I'm standing there with my girlfriend, and I'm just listening to my father saying, your mother's upset. I'm like, all right, because it was her birthday the day before. Uh -huh. um, and I hadn't called it for her birthday because my sister reminded me too late. So I'm like, ah, oh, I'll, I'll call tomorrow when I get to Vegas. I'll give her a call. It was her okay. birthday? Yeah, so this was the, I didn't get arrested picking up a tranny prostitute slash happy birthday. Oh, no. It's always good to combine calls. <laughs> like if you can, <laughs> so sometimes you have to com <laughs> combine the, Our I didn't get busted birthday. with a hooker, and I love you on your birthday call. <laughs> <laughs> that's normal. Yeah. Oh, no, that's horrid. So could you understand what she was saying through the tears? or? Yeah, well, at first she was okay, and then she kind of fell apart. <laughs> oh, God. Like, she's like, we just, you didn't get arrested? Like, she didn't believe it at first. And I'm like, no, I'm in Vegas. <laughs> they were saying on the radio. Like, uh, oh, my God. Oh. I say a lot of things on the radio, Ma. Don't listen. <laughs> Yeah, but it was the phone call. Like it was the it was the tears of gratitude that yeah. her that her firstborn son wasn't in jail for paying a man in a dress for favors. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. No, it's not. It is great. I feel terrible. That nice woman. They are nice people, but of I have to. Of course, they are. Great. Jimmy it's thinks great. it's great too. I do. Cause I knew what it was. A bit was just like you know. It was just a weird time because I couldn't call because I was on a plane. <laughs> yeah, we we know about that. <laughs> well, Jimmy called. Something happened with the mayor of Boston. He was on a plane too when we said a little something. <laughs> Jimmy called all of us, and uh, when he talked to me, he's like, "Yeah, I got messages from my mom and dad. They really think uh, I got arrested, and uh, they're really upset." And then Jimmy goes into his his Jim Norton laugh. When he thinks something is beyond funny. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was a man. I thought it was great. And Anthony, I called Ant, too. I'm like, what you, I wanted to know, like, what happened. Because I knew you said something. He's like, I'm sorry. You're like, I'm sorry. I'm like, why are you sorry? It's, it wasn't... Whenever parents cry. Oh. Oh, oh it's terrible. Well, you know. All right, listen. It's the price you pay. Yeah, it's true. We really have to take a break. If we go to break without playing one of these, people are going to be really mad. Yeah. We, we got, like, seven. Let me play the first one here. All right. And then we'll play the rest of them after the break, okay? Who is this from? Uh, Jim's dad. This is Not to right. Kenny, right? To Kenny's voicemail. First one, the first one's garbled. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, it's even a better tease. I, I mean, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All the pertinent stuff is like... I know. Yeah, that's why I was even freaking out more. Yeah. I, I Jim, why are you taking Genesis from us? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> it's all, all the important stuff is all garbled out. Jody Foster got a clearer message in contact. <laughs> 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 so the, the rest of the uh, voicemails are much better. Yeah, oh yeah, they're all yeah, clear. They're all, all right. crisp and clear, filled with fatherly concern. All right, very good. We'll play the rest of them after the break. It's the ONA virus spreading across America. And we got to get Jimmy's voicemail uh, voicemails from uh, from his dad and his sister on the air in a couple minutes here. Anyway, let's say hi to Rude Dog. Rude Dog. Hey, what's happening, boys? What's hey. up, Rude Dog? I just wanted to say that it, it, screw all these people that don't agree with this joke. It's Monday, and these phone calls are hilarious. I mean, you guys made Jimmy's mom cry. Oh, oh yeah. Let's get into the voicemails. Yeah. Good point, Rude Dog. Thanks for getting us back on track. All right. So uh, the, the setup, just in case you're just in case you're waking up, because uh, they wake up a little late in. Uh, let's see. They wake up late in in um, Buffalo. Ah, okay, good. They're just waking up in Buffalo. On Friday, we told everyone that Jim Norton got arrested for uh, for picking up a tranny. And mm -hmm. uh, the problem was that uh, Jimmy was on a plane to Vegas where, by the way, Jimmy, I heard you killed in Vegas. Uh, yeah, a lot of very good fan rep. I couldn't believe how many ONA fans were there. I could not believe the ONA fan uh, representation. Great. I had a very cool moment of comic relief, which I'll tell you about. Yeah, Ooh. we'll get into that. I'll, I'll tease that for later. Was it as... Was wasn't it? watching uh, Billy Crystal. I was going to say <laughs> that. I saw part of yeah. that. Um, oh, we have audio for later. <laughs> Strap on your douche chill belts. <laughs> <laughs> it's really bad. Hey, man, he does his jazz man character. Oh, stop it. I think he did it for like 20 straight Enough minutes. Enough already. Boring. 
So uh, Jimmy was flying. He, get, he, get, he touches down in Vegas, and Kenny turns on his phone, and uh, Kenny has just a ton of voicemails, mostly from Jim's dad and then Jim's sister. Yeah. Uh, they're all panicking. They, they believe that Jimmy was arrested yeah. on Friday. All and then right. Jimmy had to call home immediately, and he had to talk to a sobbing mom. Yeah, because I wanted to wish her a happy birthday. I'm like, ah, I'll just tell mom that there's no big deal, and i got to wish her a happy birthday anyway, so I'll call up and say happy birthday and, um, you know, clear this up. I didn't realize it was a big deal. I figured, like, ah, she'd go, oh, no, we kind of figured. <laughs> but uh, she didn't say that. She said, so no, you didn't get arrested? Like, she almost didn't believe it. I'm like, no. And she's like, are you sure everything's okay? Like, I was, mom, my girlfriend, and, and Kenny, I was on a plane to Vegas. I'm in Vegas. Oh no! She, they were saying that you got. They were saying. Oh, it was awful. And you pulled up in a car, and a girl was in it. And yeah. It was a man. Karen handled. <laughs> Karen handled Henry Hill's arrest better than my mother handled this. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, that's all you had. I love it, man. Actually, Jimmy loved it too. I did too because it wasn't done to make my parents upset. But it's like, stop listening to the show. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I show. know. Hey, by the way, parents, our parents should not listen. Oh, no. by the way, because we're all over the place, we will get the voicemails on. All right, finally, we got uh, voicemails to play from uh, Kenny's phone and Jimmy's phone. The uh, the deal on Friday, Jimmy was flying to Vegas and he killed in Vegas. Uh, nothing but great reports from uh, from uh, Vegas. Oh, good. about Jimmy, and uh, we decide. What the hell? We'll tell everyone that Jimmy got arrested for trying to pick up a tranny in the meatpacking district here in uh, New York City. Uh, a lot of people, I would say more than half, uh, bought into the bit. Whack bag, yeah. a few of the people had to blow it up for everybody, which I just don't understand. And and someone, I think it was Bill, saying, look, man, we had to do something because it crashed the website. I'm sorry for ruining the Jimmy in jail bit on Whack Bag by starting the topic, but Whack Bag crashed, and people really are stupid out there. You don't even know. And by the way, yes, as far as your do. percentages, uh, you're wrong. Uh, the percentage that you believed it. Higher? to parents, 100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Parents and sisters, 100% across the board. Yeah, so then... Uh, Hook, line, and sinker. Ooh. Jimmy lands. He had no idea because we didn't tell him we were doing this. So, uh, you know, he, he turns his phone back on. He's got messages. Kenny's got messages. Kenny's like, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. And then Jimmy had to call home and had to talk to a very, very... Sad mom. Tear stricken okay. mother the day after her birthday. Aww. I have not heard the Kenny messages. That was the first one we played. Okay. Kenny got other messages too. So here we go. Here are the messages left uh, on Kenny's phone from Jim's dad. Hey, okay, it's Jim, Jim Norton again. I don't know if my last message got, if I, I left a message, I don't know if it got through. And I'm just calling about Jimmy. We've been listening to the radio. And, you know, I told you his, his mom's upset. She heard something about him being arrested or something. So he just wants to know what was going on. It's, if he's okay and if he needs anything. So if, when you oh. get a moment, uh, give us a call back. Let us know everything's okay. Thanks a lot, buddy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, if, you I know, need, if I need what, like a pillow device? <laughs> need anything. You know what that reminded me of? The voice and if you need anything and everything. Uh, what was that? Midnight Express? When the father comes oh, and visits. Yeah. Remember the guy that had the hashish yeah, strapped yeah. to him? And the father comes and, and he's trying to hold it together. And he goes, got you, you know, some clothes and... These cigarettes and God damn it! Why? What? Uh, <laughs> for Jimmy's no parents. You know what's great about your dad? There, he doesn't want to acknowledge what you got arrested for. Yeah, just that yeah. you got arrested. Just that. <laughs> they, what do you need? He's not going to mention yeah. what it was. Well, that By was the shower, <laughs> filthy animal. That was the second one. The first one we really couldn't hear. We played it, it a little earlier yeah. this morning. Here's the third one. Again, it's uh. Jim's dad again. I'm, oh. I'm in the car. We're going up to see my daughter. Uh, and I won't be home, but if, I don't know if what happened. You know, I heard on the show about it. I left the message earlier. But uh, one way or the other, if you get a minute, let me know because, uh, you know, it's upsetting. But, you know, Gail was really upset about it, uh, you know, about what happened. So give, give me a buzz. I'm going to have my cell with me. Thanks, buddy. I'll talk to you later. When did they finally find out that it was just a uh, when I a talked hoax. to them when <sighs> many I hours later? Them. Yeah. Did your family have an intervention uh, uh, when they watched Lucky Louie with you about drugs and owning guns and things like that? Did they watch Lucky Louie and go, "Oh my God, Jimmy's got a gun. <laughs> We're very upset. He shouldn't have that." No, it's a TV show. He's wearing a robe. 
<laughs> I think he's selling pot to children. Let's say hi to Doug out, Doug. <laughs> Doug, what's up? Hey, uh, I don't know if it worked or not, but Anthony, I tried to forward you a couple of the uh, messages I got on MySpace from the world's dumbest fan base. Uh, <laughs> They were they were all messaging me asking me if I heard about Jimmy, if he's okay, if he was released. Really? Yeah, yeah there there were a lot of people buying it. That's that's cool. Yeah, good to as know. A, as, yeah. as someone that runs a fan site for the show, thank you for the traffic. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, sweetie. Uh, uh, Doug, what's yours? FBA. How do we uh, do it on this side? I forget. OAExperience.com. OAExperience.com. There you go. All right, thank you, Doug. Later, boys. All right, here's. Um, all right, now we get into Jimmy's voicemail. Didn't my sister leave him one? You want to go there first? I mean, my, whatever the order was, yeah. Uh, all right. I don't know what the order was. It'd be very awesome. Yeah. They put in this order. Oh, whatever the order, order they put in. Yeah, I did the match. Fine. Yeah, I guess, I guess we're going to end with your sister, maybe. Okay, yeah, whatever. Someone decided on that. All right, so this is Jimmy's voicemail. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy's father calling Jimmy. Yeah. Hey, Jim, it's your father. Just wondering how you're doing. It's, uh... <laughs> oh, God. All casual. Yeah, okay, exactly. <laughs> hey, just call. How you doing? You're doing okay? Uh, you know, you've been eating healthy. Did you get arrested for trying to solicit sex with a man in the dress? Uh, yeah. All well? <laughs> right. Curious? Heard something on the radio about No, he's it. not even acknowledging that yet. No, no. I don't think he wants to. Just but, seeing how you're doing. Just hoping it was going to get your live voice. Throwing some feelers out there just right. to see how things right. are. Just a couple uh, feelers. How you doing? Hey, uh... Hey, Jim. It's your father. Just wondering how you're doing. It's uh, Friday, and we're listening to the show, and somebody said something about you being arrested, and we're not sure if it's part of the show or if you did, but we're trying to find out what's going on. Oh, uh, we haven't heard anything yet, but if you need anything, give us a call, okay? And uh, let us know what's going on. Stitches. Talk to you later, kiddo. We love you. Bye. Uh, we love you. We love you. We, we love you. Because I'm your father. You pervert convict. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, you little mo. <laughs> you, little, <laughs> you little gentleman in a dress chasing mo. Wink, wink. We love you. We love, love you. you. <laughs> Nuggies. <laughs> Right. Oh, that is horrid. Yeah, those are messages you want to get when you get off that plane. No. We got a few more, so yes, we it, do. it keeps going. So then uh, Jimmy didn't call his father back, so then he has to call again. Hey, James, it's your, it's your father. <laughs> We're going to see your sister now. We've got a couple of things to do, and we listen to the show. I left a couple of messages for uh, Kenny, and I left one for you before, but I'm... If anything's going on, please give us a call and let us know when oh, you can. he's getting worried and you know, I, I got my own thoughts on it, but good, let us know what's happening. Uh, you know, but he's got his what, own what does thoughts. he mean by that? You're, I don't know. You're his son? I actually don't know. I, I got my own thoughts on it. Oh, boy. Um, you e freak of nature. Either I should have kicked her in the stomach uh, in 1968. <laughs> that might have been a thought. <laughs> <laughs> You're an embarrassment. I'm sure that was a thought. <laughs> I got my own thoughts on that. I remember the time, Christmas, 1972. I left you alone with uh, Uncle Sam in the other room yeah. while we were trying to prepare the turkey. I hope it's not. I got my own thoughts on and I've made a similar mistake. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we could commiserate. Right. I got my own thoughts on it, but good, let us know what's happening, uh, you know, about the jail or whatever, or arrested. And uh, call me on my cell, and uh, let me make sure. We want to just make sure you're okay, all right? Love oh. you, kiddo. Bye-bye. God, your love parents you, kiddo. love you. Yeah, they're nice No people. matter what. Just uh, the way he was casual about it. He goes, ah, you know, about the jail. <laughs> about the uh, jail thing. Yeah, about the whole thing. With, you know, man. Yeah, that thing. What was I calling about? No, I oh, forgot. Yeah. All right, the jail yes. thing. <sighs> all right. Uh, well, then Jim's sister gets involved. So, so your father called Kenny, called you. Your mom's crying, and now uh, it's Jim's sister on Kenny's voicemail. Hey, Kenny, it's Tracy, Jim's sister. Um, it's 12.05 in the afternoon. I'm just calling. I heard that Jimmy was arrested to make sure that he was okay. Just give me a call. I know, if, you know that if he was arrested, you're probably running around crazy and, you know, something major is going on. But um, if you happen to get a chance, just so at least know he's okay, if you can give me a call. Thanks, Kenny. Bye. <laughs> oh, they're so worried about Ooh. you. Wow. Meanwhile, I was living the high life on the plane. You're in a yeah. cinnamon roll. On your way to Vegas. Hey, it's better than, uh, you know, landing in Vegas and having no voicemails. Oh, absolutely. Realizing that your your family could give a crap. Yeah, one for my dad. Nice job, faggot. <laughs> 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 and finally, uh, Jim's sister calls Jimmy's voicemail. Hey, Jim, it's your sister. It's noon. Um, just calling. I heard you were arrested. 
Um, just calling to make sure everything's okay. Um, give me a call whenever you can so I know you're all right. Love you. Bye. Aw, they nothing. love you. Aren't they lovely? She just wants to trade, like, makeup tips and other things with <laughs> another girl now. Yeah, she's going to throw these underwear out, but maybe yeah. have a friend that could use them. <laughs> Fellow sister. <laughs> just talk sister talk. <laughs> How big do you like them? <laughs> that's, so that's what I got uh, <clears throat> happened when I landed in Oh, business. man. Yeah. The family was very concerned. They Jimmy certainly. enjoyed it, though. Oh, it was very funny, yeah. Of they course. definitely enjoyed it. Did you get that kind of... Um, Attention when you were really arrested for the show? Oh, yeah, I'm sure I did. I don't remember. Yeah. I'm sure I did, yeah. Yeah. All those calls? Yeah, did, I didn't think the same. Did your mommy cry? I don't remember. I don't think so. Um, I just don't know. Yeah. I don't remember. I'm Block sure that out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I just yeah. had enough to deal with on this, on this new... But I think since we came back on XM, I think that's when, you know, she's had a lot to deal with. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if my parents ever just like, well, well, my name will come up somewhere. And I wonder if they'll just like turn their heads and make eye contact and then turn it away real quick. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, because with the uh, with FM radio, you know, there were some subjects we couldn't even touch on and weave a little story around FCC rules or anything. There are just some things that could never be discussed. Mm -hmm. And with XM, we were able to just... Say whatever we want, and Jimmy went <laughs> went full bore. <laughs> I went haywire. You certainly did. He for went, the first few months, we he, learned a lot about Jimmy. He went all in. Yep, all, all in. in. I'm all in. He didn't hold any chips back. Yeah, all in. And uh, he, his parents had to hear some of that. And oof. all right, 